Hello, hello, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk to you about the two new fragrances from Ariana Grande. I have them right here in their boxes, full presentation and everything. I blind bought these two fragrances and I want to tell you if it was either a successful blind buy or a disappointment. I will start by referring to the packaging. I mean, the boxes are boxes. There's nothing special here. There's nothing, they, they look pretty normal. But let's talk about these bottles. First of all, I have to tell you that they do look better in pictures. The pictures I saw online, they look better. So what disappointed me? First of all, it's this cheap type of plastic. Okay, this is glass. I mean, this, like this part where the fragrance is. Okay, this is glass, but the rest is a cheap plastic. Okay, expected, I guess. I mean, the price is not that high, so okay. There is also another element that is a little bit disturbing for me. So I'm talking like it's it's a personal opinion. Everything is a personal opinion here, obviously, but this might not bother most of you. Okay, so my OCD gets a little bit triggered by this, by the fact that these lines, you see like these lines here, they don't really come together as you would expect them to. I don't know. It just, they seem a little bit off. <laughs> Maybe that's the idea of it. Most likely, that's the idea of it. But I just, it doesn't like, it doesn't please me from an aesthetical point of view, okay? So it doesn't, does it matter? It doesn't matter, obviously. Let's talk smell. Both these fragrances are 100 ml. They cost $60. And uh, this is before any discount or anything. So if you do want to buy these, I would recommend that you test them and I'll explain it why. Uh, and if you can get them discounted, then it's best that way. Again, because I don't think these fragrances are worth $60 each. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about this one, Mod Vanilla. This is the one I had the highest expectations from because it's a vanilla fragrance and I do love vanilla in fragrances and vanilla based fragrances, obviously. So this opens with musk, then it has plum and freesia, and in the middle we have orris root and pralines, yes, and then vanilla and coconut. I think it's quite true to the notes, I would say, and people think it's very similar to cloud and cloud intense. So I will say Yes, okay, I get it why people think there are similarities, and there are similarities, but not to the point where there are there are flankers. Because some people think, oh, they must be basically the same fragrance. Definitely not. I would say around 20% of this fragrance is cloud DNA. The rest is something else. What I do get with this one is, the recipe goes like this, 20% cloud, 20% uh, signature from Mont Blanc, you mix those and for the rest, you add water. You water it down. This is this fragrance. This is it. It's so weak. Or if you want to stay positive, it's so airy that it only lasted on me for about three hours. Maybe not even three hours. It's weak compared to cloud. I mean, cloud is like, if you have cloud, you don't need this. Because you will get the idea of cloud when you wear it, but you will only get it for a very little time. So why get it? Seriously, you can get cloud for less. I don't see the point of this fragrance, honestly. It's not a bad fragrance as in like, oh, I want to throw up when I smell it. It's definitely not that. But it's not original. Um, it's not long-lasting. It doesn't come in a killer packaging, bottle, whatever. It's still expensive. I don't see why you want to, like, in case you're collecting her fragrances or you're a fan. Okay, I get it. I have all the other fragrances from Ariana Grande, so, okay, fine. I guess it makes sense to have this one, too. But other than that, no. Now let's talk about Mod Blush. This opens with pink pepper, raspberry, passion fruit, bergamot. And then we have rose, magnolia, pear, uh, dreamwood, sandalwood, musk, and ambroxan in the dry down, in the base notes. Okay, this to me smells like the inside of Victoria's Secret. 
it smells like a cheap, I will say cheap again, okay. It smells like a generic rose fragrance, like rose musk fragrance with some like berries in there, with some fruits. And you know, there is that fragrance, like it smells like a body mist, it smells like teenagers, it smells like the inside of Victoria's Secret. Again, like this is the mental image I'm getting when I'm smelling this one. The good thing about this one is that it's stronger, a better performer compared to Mod Vanilla. Yes, this one lasts actually. I was pleasantly surprised by this, but this is not necessarily my type of fragrance. So I knew this beforehand. I got it knowing it. I imagined it like this and this is how it smells. It smells as if, you know, it's so true to the notes actually, because let me see what notes I don't really get. So I don't get a lot of like woody. This is a very flimsy type of fragrance. It's not very grounded. Mm. I don't get a lot of white florals in here, but I do get those fruits. I get that rose. It's a very young rose, but not very sophisticated, okay? Like I said in the beginning, kind of cheap smelling. But, you know, this is for teenagers. So if teenagers want to smell like rose these days, then this is it, I guess. This is the smell. Both of these fragrances lean feminine. They are very young to the point where they are juvenile. Uh, this being the most juvenile one, uh, blush, they smell simple, yeah, they smell young, like I said, they lean feminine because they're like sweet florals uh, and so on, this smells more complex, let's say, but because it's so weak, then it's really, um, like it's useless, right? Okay, we, you can have the most complex smell and like it's gone in two hours. It's just like a body mist in that case. So I don't think they're necessarily safe to blind buy. I don't think they're, they should be your priority when it comes to buying new fragrances because you can find better rose fragrances out there for the same price or even cheaper, maybe, maybe not. And with this one, seriously, Mod Vanilla can be replaced by Cloud any day. If you have Cloud, you have enough. You don't need this one. I hope my video was not overly negative, although I think it was. But overall, these two fragrances don't stink, okay? <laughs> they don't stink. But at this point, I think um, I became a little bit pickier about my fragrances. So, you know, as time goes by, I get older, pickier, and obviously wiser. Thank you for watching me. If you smell these fragrances, obviously let me know what you think about them. And if you don't agree with me, I honestly don't mind. I appreciate all sorts of comments and opinions. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.